Wait, wait, he's an infidel? No. Oh, to you maybe. You're Silvanusko. You're not. Okay, so you don't like that. See, you really like him. But the one you're voting for is Otto. You just like Otto. So I guess Otto has been spending time actually improving relations with people. Unlike my candidate who hasn't. Temperate, kind and patient. Yeah, that's why they don't like him. Fine, I'll switch to Otto as well. Hopefully we can get some more relations. I thought they were slowly but surely coming in to vote for the person I liked the most, but apparently not. Everyone's now voting for somebody else. <laughs> they just don't want to vote the way I'm voting. Crikey. And suddenly Durgan's the most popular again. Okay, I'm, I'm going to play the long game here. This is the long con. I'm going to vote for someone I don't want so that they all vote for the one I do want. You see how this works? <laughs> wow. Wow. Even with my 18 diplomacy, people still just hate me. Oh, flipping hell, they really do. Oh, that's because I just, um, yeah, I use up a county. So I can kind of see why. And the independence faction's growing again. Because everyone hates me again. Fantastic. What's the plan for this run to reform Sua Minusco? I'm only one province away. I need to take either Ozil or Kakasalmi. Both of which are not impossible. Kakasalmi especially is doable. It's just a problem because this ruler is really unstable. So hopefully whoever succeeds her will be more stable. Yes, learn to punch stuff too, innkeeper. Market village has been built. The conversion of Kiev. The tribes of Kiev have been converted to the Germanic faith. They're encroaching on us. Slowly but surely, just the noose is tightening. We are basically the holdout state. There is nobody else of any sizable power. Still Sua Nusko. So these internal divisions are a big frickin' problem. Uh, upgrade the market village or get a better fort. What's that? Heavy infantry, heavy infantry defense. Yeah, the Drusina training ground is basically the opposite to the Hoskal training ground. Get the market village. I need to just keep the flow of money positive so I can hire mercenaries if I need to. Svanhild has come finished her education in the ways of intrigue. Congratulations. Well, at least it's not 80% anymore. It's just not changing much. 76. The leader is 38 in plus opinion. He's one of the most positive... Oh! No, he just left. He became the leader and then left. It's just dropped by 30% because that one guy left. He did have 4,000 troops. I'm not surprised. This is why I've been spending lavishly trying to improve the relations with that guy.
And I'm now infirm. Awesome. As soon as the realm becomes even remotely stable, I become infirm. Which kills all of my stats, including the ones keeping it stable. Ah! I can't win. I wonder if High Chief Yeremy would appreciate learning more about the benefits of hard work from me. I cannot think of anything else right now that would make him like me more. Um... Too bad you have such a high intrigue. Otherwise you'd be a fairly decent person. Except for the fact you hate my guts. I'm not going to give him money because he's just going to use that to plot against me. I'm going to write to him about the prosperity of my realm. Although my diplomacy is now a little bit lower than it was. I mean, it's still pretty good. Uh, while I'm infirm, you know what we should totally do? Go drinking. Still can't do it. You're still at war. You can go carousing. You can go carousing. So can you. So can you. And the advisor. The advisor is the one I couldn't. Did I invite you? I think I did. Yes, I did. And then I'm basically just going to go down my vassal list and just go, you can come, you can come. You can come. Can't I just, like, invite my entire realm carousing? We became infirm, so we're going to have one massive piss up and just drink ourselves to death. Vyashama, Svadapolk. No, wrong button. Ah, you're on the council. I've already invited you. Can't invite you, apparently. Can invite you. And you really need to come. A bunch of these low relation people are probably going to go, no, uh, uh. But everyone else. Hopefully. Order the entire realm to go on a drunken weekend. I love it. Yeah, this is proper use of sovereign authority. Despite my best interest efforts to catch his interest, Jeremy remains unimpressed with the tales of my prosperous realm. I have to try something else in order to sway him to my cause. Oh, you lose prestige for people who say no. <laughs> Oops. Well, a bunch of people are coming. Even more aren't. That's just completely tanked my prestige. I didn't have a lot, so it's not a huge hit, but still, ouch. That's like a year's worth of prestige basically just gone. Uh, you need to learn to punch people. I know that there must be a way to earn Chief Yeremi's trust, and the best way to do it without, yeah, without a doubt is talking to him. I will simply ask him. Yeah, you're a filthy pagan. Was more than happy to talk to me about his struggles and aspirations. In fact, he seems to have questions for me as well. Wunderbar. Opinions gone up. We're now at a mere minus 57. So that swaying has improved relations by 25 already. Pretty good. Oh, in fact, there is one other thing I could do. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I can't hold a great festival because I'm too busy having a feast. Oh, well. In your efforts to become more like the good Akka, you've begun treating everyone who crosses your path with more understanding and respect. You've become more like Akka, known as the voice of Akka. The Zaka. Let's 
70% again. I'm getting penalties because the domain's too big now because I'm infirm. My guests have arrived for the private feast I've arranged. It's time to let the carousing and the merriment begin. Minus 42 prestige. Yeah, we're doing fine. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. Chancellor Durkin approached me after the council meeting to request some diplomats to aid him in obtaining more information about the rumoured artifact. Uh, flip. Minus 15 general opinion. Sure, have some diplomats. I don't need them anyway. There is no woman better at increasing the church's opinion of me or teach me to become more pious than my diviner. I need to talk. I need you to talk to the church or t teach me to become more pious. Gain piety. Piety is important. Innkeeper is enamoured with his look, so he's trying to appear at his best and using necessary to keep clean and groomed as an excuse to avoid any task that might bother him. Um, so you could lose indolent to become groomed. Ah, the young will be as they are. These days of revelry are an excellent escape. So many laughs and many intense conversations in such a short time. It brings me closer to my companions. I feel like good friends already. So Ton's just gone from minus 21 to plus 79. We have someone that's actually going to pay me some money that they owe me. Yes! The reveling and the carousing is over for now. Plus time to get back to real life. So I gain diplomacy. I gain a bit of prestige. Disfigured and infirm. I'm getting minus 7 to diplomacy. My diplomacy would be kind of ridiculous. I'd be 25 without that. No, 23. I, I can maths. As he's growing older, I can see 94th Min could use some guidance in my experienced areas. See, I would, but the problem is, you're not my heir, so I don't care. Market Town's been built in Novgorod Tribe. Marvellous. Let's get that into a market town. We're going to leave my successor with as much money as possible. And basically at this point I've gone from trying to actually improve the realm to just leaving the realm in as good a position for Durgan. How old is Durgan actually? 28. He's fine. Is he married? Yes. Oh wow, she's pretty good. Good stewarding anyway. Will mean lots of money incoming. Right, I was going to go and do some more raiding, wasn't I? I really just need to keep doing this. Dangerous as it may be. Uh, let's go... here. Because raiding means prestige, piety and money. How does the world look now? I haven't seen the series since you were Queen Caitlin. Oh, it's very different. So we started as Queen Caitlin, we took over the Kingdom of Frisia, then we switched from Frisia to Tokrakids, and the AI did all of this. The Empire of Britannia was Frisia. Um, Asturias is now Hispania down here, and has actually flipped to Norse as well, so Reform Germanic is doing extremely well. Northern Germany is pretty solidly Germanic. Scandinavia is extremely solidly Germanic. And it's slowly taking over Britain. Unfortunately, I think it was for two generations, the rulers of Britannia were Orthodox. So these little purple blotches should have been Norse had they not s swayed. I think Germanic's actually having a better time converting uh, Spain right now. So Hispania's definitely going to switch. Then we took over as Tokrakids, or Sutai as it was at the time, and then formed Tokrakids. Um, they are reformed Tengri. That was the objective of that. And their ruler, this is the thing I absolutely love, is Tengri Kat Saberbane. He was an 82-year-old ruler. Tengri Kut is basically, he's the Pope of Tengri. And he got that title because he reformed the religion. And he has got the module, which means that the founder of the religion is the ruler of the religion. He also got the extremely rare modifier Immortal. So he is actually the god king of Tokrakid at this point. So there you go. That's kind of crazy. He's immortal. He is the leader of the Eagle Warriors, which means he can't be killed in battle. 
So he can't die of old age, he can't die in battle, which means he can only die from dueling and um, intrigue. And he's got a pretty decent intrigue, and he's got an extremely good personal combat score, so he's super unlikely to die, just full stop. And now we're playing as Novgorod to try and save um, Suomenusko, although we are kind of wedged between an extremely aggressive Tengri and extremely aggressive Norse, so I'm really not sure that we can do that. But we'll try. And then after this, we're going to have an even bigger challenge because I want to try and save Catholicism. You may notice there is a thing that seems to be missing from the world. Islam and Catholicism are basically just wiped out. Like anything which was an Abrahamic religion, because they have been raided so heavily, their moral authority is so low, so they just get converted or heretic away. So that's going to be a massive challenge. I have a feeling that reforming Suomenusko is actually going to be easier. Freaky Zed, CK2 always gets my bit, so I appreciate that. Thank you. Fucking <sighs> faction. Uh, oh, and now we've got lower tribal organization trying to rise up as well. Fantastic. But we are now prestige neutral once more. So there is that. Let's just speed up because there's not a lot going on. In the middle of the battle I catch sight of a boy wearing the same colours I am. I have just enough time to notice the fierce expression on his face when he is struck down. I feel a pang of guilt realising how much he reminds me of my song Sulev. I must remember to tend our wounded. I become patient, which I think. Ooh, it's quite good. There's no time to take breaks for Novgorod! Charge! We gain prestige and we're better at fighting. I have to say patient because we're infirm. I, I don't think that charging around on the battlefield is necessarily the best thing for us right now. Sulev just died. That's really a sh unfortunate because it means that more of the titles are going to be consolidated. Wait, 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 wait. 94th Min gets the Barony of Novgorod? Why? Although he only gets the barony, so he will effectively be a vassal. I might as well give it to him now. Oh, unless he dies, in which case he wouldn't get it then. The council says no. Alright. Training ground has been built in Borovich. Oh, we don't have the market city here yet. I'm going to save the money. Right now what I need is prestige. And if I can make some more money, then fantastic. That's a big army. But I could easily come and reinforce. Also, another thing I really ought to be worrying about right now is who my commanders are. Because, wow, they are bad. Oops. Point commander, send. And also bribe him. Nope, can't bribe him. Alright, how about an honorary title as a cupbearer? So you become loyal. I'm going to make you not a commander. Because you suck. I'm going to make you a commander. Uh, ought not. Not you, because you're really... don't like us. I'll make you a commander. Neem, I'm not. Lambola, I am. And Pihil. And that is all six. Okay, so now my commanders are a hell of a lot better than they were. I'm gonna go with you, and then you, and then you, and then this one. Gonna be you, you, and you. I'm not gonna take the field because 
I'm infirm and I don't trust it right now. And my personal combat is terrible. So if I got cornered on the battlefield, I'm dead. Hey, 94th men. Love CK2, legend. I mean, you basically personally killed the Catholics. Well, I can't take all the credit for that. I think it really is just the moral authority. I mean, yes, I did a lot of raiding, but they also lost a lot of ground here to other people. Uh, this was actually Tengri. This was not me. It's, it's weird. The horse lords are down in Italy, and that had nothing to do with my efforts up here. I, I was solely focused on this. Uh, there just happens to be another branch of Tengri down here. I really don't know where I'm going to form as a Catholic, though. I was intending to do it in Spain, because I thought they had the best chance. I'm not sure anymore. There's like two Catholic provinces left in... Uh... Okay, there's four Catholic provinces left in Italy, and that would be dangerous as hell. There's some Catholics over here. The Germanic is even spreading down into Africa. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I really am not sure where I'm going to be able to support the Catholics. I'm not even... Because it kind of needs to be an independent state. I know there must be a way to earn Jeremy's trust. Curious about his faith, but don't convert. Oh dear, spy master just died. That's never suspicious. I'm going to make... I don't make Jeremy. Oh, right, he's the advisor. And he still doesn't particularly like me because he's ambitious. Uh, no, I don't trust you. So we're going to make Ahas. Because you would be a dreadful spy master and I need somebody competent. Except you're infirm, cancer, and possessed. Stressed and depressed. You could probably do it. Let's go and bribe you, first of all. And then honorary title. I'm going to make you the court jester. Huzzah! And we're going to... Appoint you as counsellor, spymaster. And you are solely going to be scheming to reveal plots. Ithildrin, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime resub. That's three months now. Thank you so much for that support. I appreciate that. Thank you. Jeremy was happy to tell me more about the Slavic faith while also not sparing a few questions for me about being some Manusco. Ended up having a very inter interesting theological discussion. Good. So relations between us are improving. Oh, flipping hell. 87%. Are you kidding me? Relations with my vassals just getting worse and worse. Received the regrettable news that Durgan has experienced a setback in his search for the artifact by spending a considerable amount of time following the wrong lead. Mm hmm. Two more years and then the revoked vassal titles goes away. One more year and then the declared war modifier goes away. At which point a lot of people are going to like me a hell of a lot more. This is the tail end of a massive civil war which was ongoing when I joined the game. I was not responsible for it. Durgan can no longer fulfill his duty to search for the rumoured artifact. We'll have to select a new one to do it for him. And we need a new Chancellor, which is going to be Aotsu. Although you would actually... hang on. What are you good at? Because he's really good at fighting. Okay, I'm going to make you the steward, and then I'm going to make you the chancellor, and then I'm going to appoint you the marshal. Are you a commander? You're not a commander. Good. And then you are going to be training troops. Uh...
Novgorod? I feel like Novgorod's no. You're going to do it in Tartu. Tartu is actually my most built up province. Now I've just realized that my levy numbers are really low at the moment. Right, the steward and the council aren't doing anything. So, Marshal, I'm going to have you search for the artifact because you're really good at it. And I'm going to have you overseeing construction in Novgorod. No, you can build me some legend in Novgorod. And you just stay out of trouble. And now I'm playing as Otso again. Okay. What is going on with this succession? 